Supernal is getting closer to the start of test flights with a technology demonstrator version of its four-passenger Evitol aircraft. The aircraft now taking shape at its facility in Southern California will pave the way for a more complete prototype version of the SA-2 model that the company hopes to have ready to fly in 2025 as it works towards a target launch for commercial operations in 2028. The company, which is owned by South Korean automotive group Hyundai, has exhibited its design at key trade events such as the Farber Air Show and the Consumer Electronics Show as it seeks to build momentum for this new mode of transportation. This is called our SA2 configuration. The way it's configured right now, it's got eight, eight rotors, uh, so four on the leading edge of the, of the wing, uh, four in the aft end. The ones in the back are in a cruise configuration, but actually for a takeoff and landing, those tilt down. So while you have the ones in the leading edge that tilt up, the rearward ones tilt down, uh, and all eight rotors work together to lift your, your vehicle into the air. And then as you transition to forward flight, they all tilt into what you would call a pusher or puller configuration to propel it uh, through the air as, a, as an airplane would. We settled on this configuration for many different reasons. One was really looking at the rear rotors and how they would behave in, in airplane flight. A lot of configurations you'll see out there have rear rotors that are lift only, so they're, they're fixed in the, the upright position to help you uh, get into the air, uh, and then they're either designed to slow down or completely stop for forward flight. That brings a set of challenges with it. Our designers looked at this configuration and decided that you know, this would be a more efficient way to, uh, to get our vehicle into the air and onto the wing for that cruise flight. The sky's the limit in terms of how people want to use these vehicles. Uh, a lot of the early use cases that we see are certainly moving people within a city. You know, maybe uh, some of the early adopters are moving people from a central point to uh, an airport uh, to make a transfer to a, to a major airline. Certainly, you know, large sporting venues will, will have a desire to move people in and out uh, via the air. And then certainly like the, the cargo or the EMS perspective in a, in a major city is another use case that could be looked at from you know, the early entry into market. Test flights with the technology demonstrator, which recently received its wings from GKN Aerospace, will be critical to finalizing the design of the SA-2 model. Uh, where we're at today is we're uh, working through the process to assemble our first uh, technology demonstrator. It'll be a full-size aircraft that we will use to go through a ground and flight test program uh, to gather lots of different data to uh, help us refine our design. And so we're expecting to have that into uh, flight test this year. And then we'll use that data and transition over to the vehicle that we see behind us, uh, which is our SA-2 configuration, uh, as we march on down the road to certification uh, to enter the market. Test is all about you know, finding surprises, that's why we do it. We design our test programs to be very thorough, very rigorous, to look for things that we just you know, hadn't thought of through our, our design and, and development process. And certainly we want it to all go well, uh, smoothly and quickly, but it's common convention that you know, we'll run into issues that we've got to go refine or go look at and you know, do a redesign or uh, just kind of maybe do software tweaks to, to help the vehicle fly differently. The testing is also important in guiding Supernal's engineers in their work with regulators, including the FAA, because the type certification process for the new Evatol aircraft is proving to be more complex than what's happened before in aerospace. Maybe some legacy platforms, traditional rotorcraft, traditional airplanes, uh, it's a little more straightforward, but I think anytime you're bringing new technology into the certification realm, um, you've really got to go through that process to understand the rules, make sure that you understand how they apply to the technology, and then work with the regulators to develop the strategy to go show that you can meet those regulations. So for eVTOL, we're looking at totally revolutionary aircraft, uh, a whole new way of flying, a whole new way of producing the power that we need to go put the vehicle into the air. So you know, where we're at with the FAA right now, I think we understand the, the basic rules that we have to meet to go certify the vehicle. Now we're working through the process with the FAA of you know, what is Supernal going to do to show the FAA uh, that we can meet those rules. And its engagement process with stakeholders extends beyond the U.S. and into communities around the world. We're also in discussions with the ASA, and we're in really early stage talks with other civil aviation authorities around the world. Uh, outside of that, we have a, a good outreach program to national, state, local governments, uh, not only in the U.S., but also around the globe. Uh, a key part of what we're trying to do is insert these vehicles into cities. And so to do that, it's not just the civil aviation authority that you've got to build that partnership with, but also the, the local governments to ensure that you can 
understand their needs and their requirements and use that as a partnership to gain the community acceptance to have these vehicles operate within their, their airspace. At least in the earlier years, Evertol aircraft will have pilots on board. If what's called advanced air mobility takes off to the degree that some in the industry say, a lot of new pilots will have to be recruited and trained. And that means companies are taking a hard look at how they can simplify the flight process while ensuring the highest standards of safety. The whole space is really leveraging fly-by-wire technology to, one, improve the ergonomics from a traditional rotorcraft. So your controls are both side sticks, so it's a much more comfortable position to be in uh, to fly. And then we're also looking at how can we leverage you know, fly-by-wire technology and advanced control laws to reduce pilot workload and make operation both simpler and safer for the operator. While much of the work to advance Supernal's plans is happening in the U.S., the company also has important backing from its South Korean parent company. Like several other Evertol aircraft pioneers, Supernal has discovered there's plenty that can be learned from car makers, and this expertise is already bearing fruit with the SA2 program. Being a part of Hyundai has a lot of advantages. We're able to work with affiliates and gain a lot of insight from their uh, tremendous engineering expertise from whether it's batteries, electric motors, or other, other components of, of the vehicle. And certainly, you know, I think another big advantage as we look towards uh, entering the market and setting up factories is really using Hyundai's experience in mass production to help us ramp up the, the vehicle builds and get them into the airspace. One area that Hyundai is involved is with uh, an affiliate uh, company of Hyundai named WIA. Uh, we're collaborating with WIA and Mechair, uh, you know, who's a traditional aerospace landing gear supplier to uh, design the, the landing gear that we will be using for our product vehicle. The Supernal aircraft is expected to have a range of around 60 miles. In the early use cases, the company intends to operate fleets of Evertols itself to establish solid operating procedures, but it will also sell aircraft to other operators. Our Future Flight news team are all over companies like Supernal tracking the progress that they're making and giving an objective assessment of the challenges that they face. So if you want to know more about the advanced air mobility sector, please keep coming back to AINonline.com slash futureflight. And thank you for watching.